good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. You know, Brother Corey Holcomb had a really awesome show the other night, I believe it was on Tuesday, yesterday. And I was not able to watch the whole thing, but I was able to get in there and donate. And Brother whole Chris Brown situation. And of course, you know, Chris Brown has been going around the country grabbing ladies' booties, charging them $1,100 to do so. And some of the sisters have been getting dumped, okay? A lot. And, you know, some of the ladies have been disrespectful. And you even had one sister that was dumped, and she had the ability to say in this. Which bean green do you have? This is from... This is from Columbus. Oh, Columbus. Yep. yep. Literally, after my picture went viral, my boyfriend broke up with me about a week later after arguing because he felt like... Chris was too close on me. I'm just like, it's one of the most respectable pictures. It was like I was bending over grabbing my ankles. Um, but I I would trade my ex for me and Chris Brown a hundred more times. So definitely really, really right thing. Now look at what she said. I believe this is her two degree key. Educated men in society. This is what they always think. I paid with my money. The blank was insecure. If y'all wish it was y'all, just say that instead, projecting the F. I'll choose that to take this pick a thousand and one more times. Now, I mean, this is exactly why nobody takes y'all serious. Okay? This is exactly why no one takes you seriously. Those people who talk like that, you are completely ridiculous. Completely. Doesn't make any sense for any woman to have that sort of attitude to think that a man will put up with you. But anyways, you'll learn, you're young, okay? Beautiful lady, but you'll learn. Corey Holcomb talked about this, okay? Let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, whoo, oh, whoo, I can see, Lord, thank you. Now that, I can bring the Lord in on. Uh, okay. Thank you, Lord. Get it. All right. <laughs> First of all, let's start the show off. Damn, I'm eating this motherfucking loud ass shit. See anything? I think, personally, men all over the world need to send donations to the brother Chris Brown. Wait, what happened to Chris now? Did I miss? I love Chris. I think men all over the world should send donations to. Chris Brown, because he has proof that most of these women ain't worth a goddamn. He has proof. I'm interested. Keep going. We talked about this a little bit before, but okay. I've seen even more. He has women that ain't even got it. Paying a G ball. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's still doing a spam thing. It's like, yeah, that's what you're talking about. I'm talking about bust. They come up with a G ball. Oh, <laughs> out of they little kids, child support money, or wherever they getting it from. Dick the tonsil money. However, they getting the money, they are giving it to somebody they don't know to groupie out in the picture. It is, these girls ain't just, these girls ain't just taking pictures. Right, they I've are, seen them. They are willing to throw their life away to get skeeted on and in. That's their And it's thing. obvious. All they want to do is get skeeted on and in and, and laugh with it with their homegirls about it. That's <laughs> what we have in society now to pick from. Cause I'm talking about like, there's so many bad raps men get, but this is not a few girls scattered. This is the mind of the average woman <laughs> to be a groupie for something of status. <laughs> I can fuck your if I want to, look at my hair. Do you think I still can't fuck I got status. Well, I'm not talking about the bad who got money, but I'm talking about all the regular belong to me. That them knuckleheads paying 1100 
nope. to disrespect their family. Nobody's I'm not even you. just talking about the man. To disrespect your family. Get your leg up in the picture. Got somebody groping you all like that. Don't even know you. Now get <laughs> yep, he took hugged their money me and took their money. Yeah, that probably made their uh their life for that year or whatever. See, this is the thing. This is what this is what I want to say. A lot of men know they woman is not respectable. But it takes something like that to show how disrespectful disrespectful she is. Mm -hmm. That is true. A lot of guys don't, they, they be like, yeah, she, I got to work on her a little bit with this. Ooh, I got to yeah. work on her a little. Huh. But they don't know they girl is passing out things <laughs> that you revere <laughs> to nobody in the streets. I would. Your girl passing out what you hold up. You think it's something special. You showed it to your mama. You showed it to the church. The preacher got paper. The preacher. Oh, that's all I'm trying to say. A lot of you guys, you better be glad your preacher ain't your bro, Jack, because your preacher got the most money that you know. That's probably the dude who got the most money that most of the average men know, the preacher. I'm talking about no personally that speak to him. All these women who do this stuff is just showing everybody what everybody need to know. Because if you don't know this stuff, you can be destroyed with your little college diploma. What, you a nuclear physicist? If you don't know these... Your paycheck is about to explode nuclearly. Now, before I weigh in on that, let's look at this other brother, Mr. Jared J. Sims, who posted this, right? This was soon to be my fiance. This photo has gone viral. This was her birthday present. In my head, I was convinced that a meet and greet means shaking hands and getting a signed autographed black and white picture CD. I am heartbroken, devastated, embarrassed, and bamboozled. Once I've seen this photo and seen how virus gotten within sensitive supportive comments, I ended the engagement immediately. Going to the gym and starting my life with Jesus until a new path is developed with the Lord's guidance. F everyone who supported her. Let me talk about this. Man, as an older dude, I'm 43 now, like the old folk used to say, thank God for Jesus. Imagine that you are the person spending your money on somebody like this. This dude paid for her to disrespect him. Thank God for Chris Brown. He did y'all a favor, man. And it's a lot of dudes out there that your woman don't respect you and things like this show you that they don't. And when they have the attitude like non-apologetic, don't even say nothing to them. You cannot argue, I'm telling you, man, a lot of the young ladies today that have this position, their, their, their attitude is trash, okay? And when a person has a trashy ass attitude, then they deserve to be dealt with in a way, which means removal from your life. I don't care how good they are, how good the box was, how much they can booty clap it up. Corey Holcomb is correct. A lot of y'all, a lot of us, dealt with ladies like this we didn't know what we had until some other dude came there and figured out oh well that's what it took okay let them pay for you i just found out a few days ago it was a chick i was really doing some things for and um i found out like two of my uh colleagues had clapped him up for almost nothing you know she was putting on them them, them shady sandals getting just getting clapped up right and i'm like oh, okay well i'm not mad at them and this is some years back but the thing is that's a favor that's a favor. A lot of times you like somebody that ain't worth nothing. When you see how they act for some, you can always find out how a chick is when she go crazy over a dude that can't do nothing for her. That's where she belongs to. Cause if he won't do nothing for you and you love him, well, what do I need to do something for your ass either? I'm not doing shit. I'm gonna give you what you deserve. Most of them don't even deserve nothing, bro. Gonna be real. Most of them that y'all trying to chase over and they don't deserve nothing. And again, it's better you find out now than later. Cause some of y'all gonna be dumb enough to marry them. That's why I tell you, you marry them, get kids by them. Then guess what? You divorce them to take all your money. What do they gonna do? 
they go do they go deal with some dude that ain't got nothing then they get their heart broke after he use them for their money might as well keep your money and get rid of them don't take don't take care of a 304 brother don't take care of a 304 say it again with me last time the third time the charm don't take care of a disrespectful 304 don't ever do that send them where they belong so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity john i appreciate you following this or the bell we're out